Good morning, everybody. It's March 11th. It is Friday. I'm John Zadar, and you're watching On Top and Hot. That's right. I said good morning. It's early. It's about 8.55 in the morning before the bell. I normally make these around 4, 5, 6 in the evening. So why am I making this one so early? Because you're going to follow me as I look for runners. We're going to go over to the otcmarkets.com website where I can get the kind of information I'm looking for. I'm looking for the crowd factor. I'm looking for stocks that have a lot of trades. Personally, I equate trades to the number of people trading. Not one for one, but if I see a stock that's got 200 trades, I figure eh, there's more than three or four people there, <laughs> right? Absolutely. So we're going to jump over there as soon as it opens. They don't open their doors to this till 9.45. There is a 15-minute delay on this site. But considering I can't find a whole lot of sites that give me that information, I'm willing to deal with it. So we'll jump over there at 9.45. We're going to come back every hour, every two hours, and we'll continue to monitor the stocks we found and new stocks as they pop up. And we're going to look at the charts as well. So we're going to keep up with the stocks and hopefully by the end of the day, we'll actually have accumulated more information than just about the stocks, but how to find these stocks and actually when to play them. That's right. So I will see you in about 30 minutes. I'm going to get me another cup of coffee. All right, it is 10 minutes to 10. The information over here on the otcmarkets.com has a 15 minute delay, so I gotta wait 15 minutes after the bell before I get any information. What I do is I come over here to current market right there. This is gonna give me the most active stocks on the entire OTC market, all 12,000 stocks. I come down to advancers because I want to see the ones running and I'm going to go for all instead of over a dollar over a nickel. I just want to see everything. Now this is going to bring up a list of all the stocks that are advancing right now in real time. Now I can look at stocks that are getting money. How much money are they getting? How many shares are they selling? Which is what most people look at. But me, I like to look at the trades. The trades is how many trades there's been on that stock right now up to this moment. This stock here has had 114 trades in the first 20 minutes. This is FDOC. They're up 192% with only 156,000 shares. But what we want to do is catch this early. This is as the day is starting. And when you find stocks that already have a lot of attention, already have a lot of trades, there is a 9 out of 10 chance that this is going to continue continue running, it's just going to get more and more and more. And this is how I like to find runners in the morning. So what we're going to do is take a look at FDOC, see if we can find a catalyst on this stock. This is Fuel Doctor Holdings. Let's see what sort of share structure we got. I know I'm down there in the corner, but I've got to pick one side or the other, and each page has got different layouts. So we're looking at about, oh, is that right? Holy cow, folks, we've got a super duper low float here. Wow, we have under 3 million in the float. Unbelievable, that's gonna have this thing jumping. We don't have any news here. We have any disclosures today that may have come out. Nothing since uh, January, nothing there. So, real quickly, I'm gonna take this ticker and I'm gonna run over to FDOC. I'm gonna run over here to Twitter and I'm gonna see if they've got any information. 41 minutes ago, FDOC news, three weeks ago. Well, we don't want news three weeks ago. Crazy good news, robotics, EV charging, very light. All right, so there's something going on with robotics. So let's take that ticker, and now we're gonna run over to the uh, charts. And I'm gonna show you the charts on these, and we'll accumulate them as well. All right, let's see, how does that lay out here? <laughs> All right, I'm a little high. Let me scoot this over just a bit. All right, we're going to take that ticker and put that right in there. And I'm going to change this because I am watching this stock. I don't want to lose it. E-X-E-N, E-X-N. All right, so our stock up here is F-D-O-C. And why is that not coming up? F-D-O-C. There we go. All right, so 
There is our first stock running this morning. Let's back this out so we can get a look at this on the one hour See, All right, she doesn't get a lot of shares traded. That's for bloody sure. But she is on a bounce right now. Now I'm gonna keep that up and we'll add another one across these here. You can see I got six charts up right now. So let's jump back over to here and get to our page and see we got another big one. 53, 35,000 STAL. They're up 55% right now. Let's see what's going on for them. Share structure, 14 million. Another low float, folks. 14 million is definitely worthy of considering. Any news today? Anything to jump out at us? 311, we do have news today. Star Alliance International Corps signs letter of intent to purchase six operating gold mines in Guatemala for 180 million, subject to final due diligence. So there is your catalyst. Let's go run over to the charts and see what we can get over there. I'm gonna throw that one up here. Oh, we've got a nice bounce. That's on the hourly chart right there. Now I know they're small, but at least it gives you a, a little bit of view of what's going on here. That's the hour. She is under the 200, is she, or is she just breaking? She just broke the 200, went all the way up and has come back down close to it. Let's look at the five minute. All right, so she took a big jump, but she's holding 50% of that bounce right now, sitting on top of the 10. Looking good, MACD is strong, RSI is coming up. Let's go take a look at another one. We're gonna go back to our page here, 55, three, looking, looking, 72. 72, 196,000 shares there, 31% gains. This is JSDA. Is this Jones, Jones Soda? It is Jones Soda at 79 cents. Security details, share structure, 52 million in her float. We got any news today? We had news yesterday. Jones Soda reports strong fourth quarter and full year 2021 results. Well, that's always good news. Know that your company's making money and making more of it. Let's go check out JSDA on the charts. Oops, <laughs> it happens folks, it happens. All right, let's get that one over here. All right, I'm gonna get rid of these lines. Actually, those are support lines, so you can see actually where it's been climbing. I've looked at this before. She has had a very strong gain this morning already from about 54 cents to 81 cents and has fallen back down to 68, about in the 50%. So she's looking good as well. The other charts are still looking good. Let's get those down to one minute so we can actually see what's going on on these in quick time. All right, all on one minute. All right, kick this more out. We can get a few more. 108 trades already, 20 million shares. They are at 30% gains. Cheap stock, 004. This is IFXY. IFXY, I know I'm familiar with this one. Infrax Systems. What are their share structure? No, not a low float, not by any means. We got over 2 billion shares. Let's see what we have over here. No news today. No news down at the bottom. We have any disclosures? Uh, yeah, we had a disclosure. That was last month. So no, we've got nothing going on here. So I'm going to come on over here to Twitter and we will give a quick peek to see if we've got anything here. 18 minutes ago, expecting a slight pullback here at the top of the channel to calm technicals. Then breakthrough sitting on the bid. Um, what's this? It's safe to say revenues for the first company coming in easily surpass our current market cap. A major win for IFXY shareholders. So there's something going on. It's not bad news. We can see that much. So let's jump over here to our charts. And what was that one? I forgot the ticker. IFXY. Let's throw that down here. IFXY. All right, let's get that down to one hour first so we can get a little view of what's going on. So she's been under a major resistance here, tapped it a couple times, and it's severely broken today. Way above it. Let's come down to that five minute take a view. She's had a strong jump and she is still jumping, folks. She is still climbing. Still going up. All right, let's take a look at one more here. 22, 47, uh, 22. All right, we're going to stick right there. Well, uh, let's grab this 47 right there. 47, uh, 
just about a half a million shares, 21% Bitsy, B-T-Z-I. Bitsy is Bots Inc. Oh yes, we've looked at Bots before. Pink Current, what is their share structure? Uh, half a billion shares in the float. What is the news? We got any catalyst today? Nothing there. And no, we got nothing in the news. What about a disclosure? We're looking for something, nothing here either. So we'll give this a quick glance over here at Twitter. Only looking for what other people have already found. Um, see, I did talk about it. There's my video. We talked about Bitsy a while ago. Uh, that's November 30th. Let's see if there's anything under latest. That's some old stuff there. One, see, that those are days ago. So there's absolutely nothing going on right now. Nothing we can see. So let's take a look at that chart and see what it looks like. BTZI. Let's throw that one in there. BTZI. Oh, actually going pretty flat right now, but it looks like it's about ready to do a recovery. Yeah, okay. She has bounced up. I'm going to come down in a minute on that. I know it's small, folks. I know. So she had a big bounce, came down, and again, she is just about at her 50%. We see IFXY is still climbing. FDOC is taking a dip, as is S-T-A-L and Jones Soda is going sideways. So we will come back to this and say about uh, 60 minutes and see what these stocks are doing and see if there's any more that have started to run. See you then. <laughs> All right, it has been one hour and we're gonna go ahead and refresh this page because it does not refresh automatically. Now, FDOC was at the top of our list before with 114 trades. There's FDOC. Now, they're not necessarily going to be in the same order because this is categorized in the percentage chain column. So the highest goes to the top. So if this takes a dip, it's going to fall down. But as it is right now, we're at 192% gains. She's had 395 trades now from 114 to 395 in one hour. That's why it's important to catch these things early. I see we have a new one down here. Here's ECDD. They're at 105% gains and they've had 148 trades. Let's go take a look at ECDD. See if we can find any sort of catalyst on this. All right, news. Uh, no, we've got nothing since the middle of February. Let's take a look at her share structure. Maybe we'll get a low, whoa, <laughs> we got another low float. How about that? We've had three of those. 8.5 million shares, looking good. Let's see what we've got down here in disclosures. Maybe something's come out today. Uh, no, a few days ago they had an S1 come out. Let's just take a quick glance at that, see if there's anything that stands out. Uh, they're moving shares around. Okay, we're not gonna jump into that too deep. So let's go take a look at ECDD on the chart and see what that looks like. So we're over here at TOS, Think or Swim. Here's ECDD, I've already tossed this in. We're on the one minute. Let's back out to one hour so you can at least get a gander. All right, it looks like she's been actually sitting here in a channel, right? She's not going too low, she's not going too high. She did break it, she broke that high, but then has dip, but she's staying up on the top. She's got a strong MACD and her RSI right now is at 55. Now speaking of RSI, take a look at these RSIs. Very low, very low, very low, very low, very low. Not good folks. You've got to have your RSI going up. Your MACD can go down, but your RSI has got to go up if you want the price to start moving up. And as you can see right now, we do have dips. Now, what has been happening? Wow, look, them. they're all starting to dip right now, except this one. What you notice here, though, you see that yellow line on all the charts. That is a 50-day SMA, 50-day moving average. Takes 50 days worth of prices, averages them all up, and puts a point on the chart and says that's what the average is right now. Well, the prices are hanging around that 50-day average. They're riding right across the top of these, most of them. Jones is quite a bit underneath, but the rest of these are riding on top of them, even though they're coming down. Now, I don't know what's going on with the market right now. You can see everything is pushing down. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens in the next hour. Now, I've also added over here, 
all of the stocks that we're looking at. So at a glance, you can see what's going on. FDOC is at 168%, ECDD at 103 IFXY at 42%. So there's a quick glance, and it seems that IFXY is the most shares. That is sold 96 million shares so far. Nobody else is even coming close to that. Let's go back to the OTC market, see what else we can wrangle up over here. All right, let's go back to our page. Scroll on down. Uh, 1134. Now I'm looking for numbers that are a little bit bigger. Early in the morning, a 34 is good to look at because everyone's down at that. But we're trying to get something, you know, like 50 or above right now. We're at 50%. I don't want to go any lower than 30%. There's IFXY. 480 trades now. Stall is up to 190 trades. Here is Lazy W. The W on the end means it's a warrant. Warrants are stocks too. This is over $5 right now. Now remember, we're looking at all the stocks in the OTC market. So if a $10,000 stock started to run and had lots of trades, it would show up over here. And yes, there are $10,000 stocks on the OTC market. Stocks go all the way up to $30,000 on the OTC market. Didn't know that, did you? All right, let's uh, see what else we got. We're, we're not gonna take a look at Lazy W. Warrants are good, warrants are good. I got nothing against them, but that's over $5. Let's see, FTXP, WPUR, 42 and 26, 28 and 27, and now we're below. Just for giggles, we're at 42 here. That's a triple zero seven, so I'm not gonna look at triple zeros. They just don't have a tendency of moving fast enough. They'll get a ton of shares because they're super duper cheap, and you'll even get a lot of trades on them, but it's just not moving as fast as you'd like. I prefer to stick at double zero one and above when I'm playing my uh, fast trades. So that seems to be what we're looking at right now. We'll come back at this in about uh, 60 minutes, maybe two hours, and we'll see what's going on then, and you can see how these stocks are continuing their growth and are they actually gaining on the market by having more trades. All right, we're splitting the difference here. It's 12.30. Have not refreshed my page yet. You can see the 395 on FDOC, though FDOC may jump to some other position on our board. Uh, yeah, uh, there it is, way down here. FDOC is now down to 93%, uh, 513 trades now. ECDD has moved up to 172 trades and she's still holding 100% gains. Let's come on down, we got a 513, 59 CBDL, that's a triple zero. We're gonna go by the triple zeros. We're looking for big numbers now because we are pretty much halfway through the day. Uh, that's a double zero. All right, four and a half million shares, 96 trades. This is worthy of looking at. LRSV. What do we got over here? Let's check out our share structure first. Okay, average, you got just under 300 million shares. Looking for that catalyst. Want some news, a disclosure, something? No, that's all the way back last year. We've got no new news here for Link Reservations. I think this is a pet food uh, company, something like that. Quarterly reports came out last year and uh, no, no, we got nothing here at the OTC market. So we're going to jump over to Twitter where we got a million eyeballs. A million eyeballs working for us for free. Yes, they are. See what we've got? We are under top, the most popular 34 minutes ago, watching LRSV possible change of control. That means that someone else could be getting control of the company. Now, I don't know if they're talking about a reverse merger or a custodial case. I don't know enough about this company. Let's see what we got going here. Pink current, uh, 700 and million, right? All right, address updated. So they've changed their address. That's, that's important. Website updated from link reservations to global. See, now there's the question right there. So it looks like someone else has taken over them, Global Logistics. They got a new phone number. Uh, they were out of the country before. That's what that 4-4 stands for, that plus one. That's the code for the USA. We get the code one. 4-4, I do believe, is the UK. I believe that's the UK. So we now have a new controller here, officers. 
So there you go, change of control. Somebody else is onto this company now. I don't know if it's a reverse merger or not. There wasn't even a filing there to show that yet. So it's gotta be just in court dockets, which we're not looking at. Let's go take a look at the chart then. All right, so I haven't got any more here. Um, let's, all right, it looks like, who's at the bottom of the list here? Jones, Jones has fallen down to 9%. So we're going to use Jones because I could, you know, I can use as many charts as I want. You see how many charts I can put on the board? But how small do they get, right? Six is pretty small. So we're going to stick with six. And what was that uh, ticker again? I can't remember. L-R-S-V. Let's get that on the board. L-R-S-V. All right, link reservations, new change of control. Looks good on the one hour. Let's come in on the five minute. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. That has been steady growth for, look at that, that is nice. And she is leveling off right now. Uh, her RSI is high. Her MACD is looking good, although you can see it is starting to come down right now. All right, let's go back and take a look at another runner, see if we can find okay, one. Okay, well, that was LRSB. Who we got here? There's that warrant. Warrant is up to 357 trades. IFXY, 694 trades, 117 million shares sold. ICNM, this is a new one. This has got 332 million shares, and this was nowhere in our first two looks. She's up to 497 trades. I've got to see what's going on with this one. All right, Icon Media Holdings. It's at a great price, 0013. Just get over 002, which is the next number up. You've doubled your money. What is the share structure? God, we got a little float. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. 8.6 billion shares in this bloody thing. My God. Let's see what sort of news we got, as if it's going to make a difference. 2018, no, we got no new news. Better be a disclosure. She may have gone pink. Uh, no, that was back in December. Uh, no. All right, let's take this. I'm getting the feeling this has just gone pink. I mean, it's just a feeling. I don't know anything. But if it has, they will let us know over here at Twitter. What? ICNM. I do have the right thing, don't I? ICNM. Not one tweet. Not one tweet. We got no news. We got no filings. And still, this thing is running? What was the... Uh, what is the actual share count on that? Where is that one? 332 million shares. It's up 36%. Wow. No tweets, no news, no disclosure. No tweets. I mean, we're talking years. No tweets in years. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, let's jump over to that chart. I want to get a gander at all of them. See if uh, there is anything changing, anything that we should be aware of. So our LRSV looking strong. The RSIs on all of them still aren't doing any real good strength change. Uh, these are all on one hour right now, by the way. You're looking at one hour charts except for this one. Let's bring these all back down to five minute charts. Give you a overview that's a one minute chart there actually normally i will work with three charts on my board through through the day but i've actually got one two three four screens around me and each one has its own stuff and i have charts on the one that we're looking at but normally this is the one i'm working with i'm jumping around doing my dd so the other ones never move i just get to watch those okay uh did we change them all five minutes five minutes one more all right, so this one has planed off. This is Bitsy. IFXY is taking a dip. Jones, how did Jones end up over here? This is supposed to be FDOC. Yeah, I caught that. Okay, so she has pretty much gone sideways after her climb. So you can see, what time was this? Get out of there, I can't see. What time was that? That was 10.15. 10 15 10 20 they hit their high there this one was uh 
Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, 9.30? Yeah, just at the bell, it hit its high. This one hit its high here at noon. Our high bubble here, 10.40. 10.40, 9.30 again at the bell. And this one hit at uh, 9.35, just five minutes after the bell. So we didn't have any dips really occurring at the 10 o'clock, which is where I look for them. They're running about 10.40. Truth of the matter is, it is what I call, most people call fool's hour. The first hour of the day is fool's hour, and the last hour is called power hour. They don't call it fool's hour because you're a fool for playing. No, they play. Uh, they call it fool's hour because you could be fooled very easily. Climb, 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 and then oop, it drops. But it used to be a full hour. It used to be from 9.30 to 10.30. And I noticed quite a while ago it changed to 10 o'clock. But now we just saw three of these drop at 10.40. You like to keep an eye on how things move because you want to be moving with them, not against them. All right, we'll take a look at this one more time before the end of the day and see what we've got going on. You could get a recovery, folks. Don't think this is a done game. This is lunchtime. Everything gets slow. You got some clothes to wash? Now's the time to go do it. Come back at power hour, the last hour of the day. See you then. Okay, we got 20 minutes left in the trading day. It is 3.40 in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time, and I have already gone and refreshed my page. So let's take a look at how the market fared today. We did $2.2 billion, no big deal. We do $2.2 billion, whatever the other numbers are, that's about what we do every day. We can do 50 billion shares in a day, or we can do 7 billion shares in a day. We seem to do $2 billion every day. And today, <laughs> not a great day, folks. $8.4 billion. It's stifling. That is anorexic. A year ago, we were doing 50 billion shares a day. <sighs> and we had 272,000 trades, just over a quarter million trades on the entire market of 12,000 securities. All right, as I said, I've already gone ahead and I have refreshed this. And we'll look at those big numbers, see if there's new ones here or if they are all the same. There's FDOC, falling down to 83% now, was at about 100% earlier, 123 uh, actually, 539 trades. I remember this started at 114 when we first looked at it. Wow, Pshh, look at this. ICNM, 1,000 trades, no tweets, no news, no disclosure. I mean, no tweets. Not that there's no news in the tweets, there's no tweets. So there's absolutely a blank page on this. And it's not the first time I've seen this. I've looked at ICNM before, it's been here before, and I've never, ever been able to find information. So why it runs, heck if I know. But look at that. 720 million shares today, just shy of a billion, three quarter billion. We see ECDD up here, 145,000, not a lot of shares, but 201 trades, ended the day at 75% gains. We got tips here that started the day, started to pick up something at 64, I wouldn't look at it now, but you can see Things do pick up even at the end of the day. News comes out, that's when it starts to run. So you can find runners in the back half of the day. Don't think you have to only look in the morning. What else we got going here? Uh, 870 for IFXY, 0048 on the price, 149 million shares. CLNV, this is a new one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. 877 trades, 14 million. Let's just take a quick look at this one to see what we got going on here. Because this all happened in the last four hours, the back half of the day. We never saw anything on this one. Share structure. Yeah, average, you know, 276 million shares. Take a look at the news for a catalyst. Well, they did have news two days ago. Clean Visions, Clean Seas, India, signs definitive agreement with and opens a research and development facility to support the project. Well, there you go. I mean, I know it's a couple days old, but I got to figure that that's probably still running there. That would be my guess. All right, let's go take a look at the chart on this, and I want to look at other charts as well. 
All right, we are over here at Thinkorswim now, and what I've done is I've put up full charts, I've got our list over here, and I just added CLNV, and that's what you're looking at on a one hour chart flat as a pancake riding across the 200 like it's concrete and then it just launched and it started one two three four five six seven days ago one two three four five six days of rise then you had a huge fall here bounced off the 20 and took off again it's come down to the five day five minute oh that looks nice now take a look there you can see she is right on top of the 200 and then she starts pulling away slowly, getting further and further away, stretching. That's what's happening right now. She is stretching because the SMAs have to come back together eventually. They can't stay apart like that for long. And boy, did it come back with vengeance, fast and furious. And it's kind of like a rubber ball being thrown into water underwater and then back up onto the surface and bobble and it did overshoot under the water and then came back up and has taken off again and this list looks real good all the SMAs are going in the right direction the volume is there at the end of the day MACD is above the signal line RSI is a little tempted but all in all it looks good all right, let's look at FDOC now. This is the one that started off with 114 trades when we first looked at it in the first 15 minutes of the day and ended up with just under 600 trades. Now, I don't believe there's a lot of activity on this going back for the hour. No, not a lot of shares being traded. Let's come back on that five day, five minute. Huge jump though, huge jump. We went from 21 cents to 71 cents. That is almost 300% right there and she opened up here but right now we are still at a hundred and thirty percent way down here now notice we have no 200 we have no 50 day SMA only the 20 so that's where the price is going to play to it's going to play to the strongest SMA which is now the 200 when the 50 appears the price will start to pull towards the 50 wherever it is so this looks good this is climbing up we got a crossover right there coming out of the depths of red RSI is pushing up this actually looks good for a continual growth let's see ICNM the mystery stock no tweets no news no disclosures ever ever and this thing was going flat underneath the 200 and then took off uh, two days ago and has been climbing ever since and it's about ready to do a crossover though that's getting a little chaotic down here RSI is pushing up the it's sitting on the 50 right now like most of the stocks have been doing it looks like it's ready to continue growing but I couldn't tell you why haven't got a clue IFXY let's take a look at the one hour get a full picture here doesn't want to give us an hour all right there we go so I don't know what these are in there for God only knows what I was looking at get that out of our way so there's our 200 she's rolling over it back and forth and then today took off took off good lots of volume MACD is strong RSI is strong on the one hour let's come down to the five minute beautiful still climbing you know we're still there at the day she's still pushing now she's trying to get above her 200 haul that is this blue one right here that is purple when it goes down blue when it goes up those are the colors I choose and the 200 haul is like a 200 SMA but it gives more attention to current activities so this is how low the 200 SMA is for 200 days average this was riding with it pretty close until all of this happened so this 200 haul takes that into account and it says well if you take into that your new average is really up here and we are right we just hit a high bubble so yeah this is looking good folks we got a crossover going up RSI is climbing 200 is on the way up price is kicking looking good STAL took a big fall today she had a nice jump come all the way down looks like she's virtually down to where she started but again we got a crossover starting after a law in the whole middle part of the day she's trying to push back up to that 50 day bitsy bitsy on the five minute doesn't look too bad what does she look like on the hundred Ooh, she was falling deep under the 200 put her periscope up here just to get a view of what's going on above the surface came back down under the 50 rode above the 50 right here has really been fighting to decide what to do and today she's jumped up to the 200 looks like she's just elevated herself I don't know if she has catalyst I can't remember but she uh, 
jumped yesterday and today she pushed herself above that 200 and is sitting on it right now let's come down to the five day five minute all right she's far above the 200 on the five day which is a very good sign oh goodness this uh mac d is just spaghetti down here really it's getting a bit confused i couldn't guess what was going to go on with this right now she's going sideways you can see that she's going sideways she's had a big jump she hit a new high and that there that was a 30% bounce in five minutes. Five minutes it went up and came right back down. No clue what's going on. And then the last one we're looking at is Jones Soda. Jones Soda had news today. Yeah, they have uh, expanded into CBD hemp drinks, I believe it is. They've been making beverages for a long time. They're not a startup company. They're, they're not new. They've just expanded their product into cannabis drinks now. So they've been riding the 200 as well. Hit a low bubble here. Didn't give much hoot about it, but it did bounce back. And that bounced from 48 cents to 54 cents. Nothing major. No volume to talk about until today. We had financials today. There's our little reason why it jumped. Are they good? No, it says she fell two cents below her estimations. So I know two cents don't sound like much, but boy, the market has no sympathy or understanding. So she went way to heck up. There's her 50% line and she's way down here. What she actually did, she elevated herself. She was riding the 50 down here. Here comes the appearance of the 200. So all she did was go up and flap herself down right there, right smack dab onto the 200. So that's what she's doing. I don't know if she's going to bounce. Probably not. It looks like she likes to go flat, but there's no telling. If they come up with a contract and say some stores taking their drinks, maybe that'll help. All right, folks, that is how I find stocks that are running. I come over here first thing in the morning. But remember, you don't have to be here first thing in the morning. You can be here in the afternoon. There are things that are starting to run now. We've come back four hours later and we saw CLVN. That wasn't moving at all the first half of the day. We never saw it. And if it was, it was under 30%. So, you know, when you're doing DD, you're not constricted by time. You can look at every single one of them. You can look at all of them. You can do what you want to do. You don't have to miss anything. We're just focusing in on the top ones so that you can see what I'm doing so that you can continue on. DD, it is how you find the magic in the market. The more you know, say it with me, <laughs> the more you're going to grow. Thanks, folks. See ya.